Hi, and welcome to the episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter, where today I'm going to be sighting in my Jaguar C013 crossbow. Um, I was going to do my uh, Patriot today, but we're supposed to have some weather come in and some rain. So I'm just going to do this one, I guess, kind of quick, I guess, and uh, we're going to do that. So, but right now it's nice and sunny outside. I got my umbrella up here, to give me a little bit of shade. So, uh, with that said, let's get into today's show. Okay, like I said, we're going to just cite this in real quick. But remember, before we start, that. Uh, 700 subscribers we're gonna do a live show so hit that subscribe button are you waiting for me right now go ahead and hit it for me baby and, and get my subscribers up pass it on to your family and friends because uh, I really want to do this show but I'm not going to do it until I get 700 subscribers so uh, with that so hit that subscribe button and uh, let's do that show I got it all lubed up, rail lubed up, I got my strings lubed up, I got, uh, like I said, this is a brand new string that is on here, as you recall in the, with my last episode with this crossbow, the plastic piece broke up here and uh, I wasn't able to shoot it no more, so uh, we're gonna, we got everything all fixed, ready to go. Let's send the first arrow down range and see how we do. All right. Get leveled out here. Oh. Keep forgetting about the safety. Okay, so that one was a little off to the right and a little low, so let's bring it up a little bit and bring it back to the left a little bit. Okay. So I guess you could say we call this another fun day. Try and beat the weather. But we are outside. That is the main thing. Oh. As you recall in the last episode, I did it, uh, I guess a week or so ago, that uh, I gave you all the specs to this crossbow. I I'll go ahead and go back and look at that video. All right. Let's see how we do now. All these arrows are 362 grains. They got six of them at that. Okay, so that one was a little high. So let's bring it down a little bit. And Probably off to the right just a little bit, but we'll bring that one over in a little bit. So, these are all carbon arrows that I got. As you recall, in another episode, we did a spin test on some aluminum ones that I got, and they were all out of whack. So, when I emailed Jaguar, they sent me these carbon arrows. Hey, get over here. Get over here. Okay. Oh, that one was 
almost pretty good. We just need to bring it to the left a little bit. Hey, boy, Marie. Yeah, they're heading off into the sunset. But they enjoy being outside. Okay. So it's shooting a lot better than it was last time we were out. But this crossbow, I wouldn't go any further than 20 yards with it. I think I just buried an arrow because I do not see where it went. But I'm, but it's strange how these bags are rated like 400. This one's 450 feet per second, and I bury arrows. But I guess that says how much. I've shot at this bag maybe, but I don't want to use my black hole quite yet until I start shooting broadheads to try and save that bag. All right. Okay, that one came a little bit low. That could have been me. So we'll shoot one more and see how we do. Like I said, this is a very fun crossbow to shoot, a good entry level crossbow. But before I started doing these videos, like I said, this is the crossbow I was shooting for a while. So it went through a lot of stuff before. I started shooting videos. All right, one more here. And that one came a little bit low. Okay, so I'm down collect with some arrows and I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere. Okay, so I think I might have some flyers. So we'll try and see if we can eliminate some flyers. Um, but overall, it didn't do too bad. Um, the one that I said that I thought I buried, I just couldn't see it because it went in perfectly straight, I guess you could say. So, uh, it didn't bury. Okay. I've already got a cop. Okay. Guess helps pay attention once in a while, don't it? Get the mouth running and not be paying attention. Okay, so here we go. Round number two. Let's see how we do. Okay, so that one kind of flew down and to the right. So let's bring it up a tad. And we'll bring it to the left. There we go. I mean, this is. This crossbow, like I said, only cost about 200 bucks. It was given to me by my dad. Because he got it, he couldn't... He had issues with cocking it and stuff. But he's 82 years old when he got this. 
and he tried it. And he just handed it down to me. Okay, here we go. That one looks like a bullseye. Oh, that's good. Let's try another one here. I guess you say a nice thing about all four of my crossbows with the cocking rope. I can use the same co cocking rope on all of them. So I have like three, four cocking ropes. So I'll never be out of cock cocking rope. Okay, that one went just a little high. I kind of like these fun days. I really don't feel like I have a lot of pressure when I'm making these videos. But I think the next time we take this one out, we'll do a speed test with it. And I don't know exactly when that's going to be. It's probably going to be a little while just because I want to get my other ones taken care of first. Okay, so that one was a little low. But we'll do a kind of what, what, I'll, what I'll call an average and see if we're hitting low, hitting high, off to the right, then maybe go from there to make the adjustments. But overall, it's still. It's still shooting good. And that's what I like. All right. The fifth arrow. Let's see where this one goes. And that one was a little low. But from here, it kind of looks like I buried it up to the fletchings. Yeah, there's the slight little breeze I keep moving my umbrella around but it's still kind of keeping me in the shade a little bit not bothering my eyes like it was the other day all right the sixth and final arrow and that one a little low all right So I'm going to collect those, come back, make an adjustment on my site, don't go nowhere. Okay, so we're all ready to go. I adjusted my site. I'll bring it up a little bit. So we'll see how we do here. And I'm thinking... For today, I'm gonna to call it after round three. I'm gonna call it a day, just because I do start to see some some clouds coming in, and the breeze is picking up just a little bit, which I've learned here that means the wind is not far behind.
bullseye. So arrow number one is flying really, really good. So let's see how the rest of them do. What? Okay. Yeah, and I can tell because my umbrella keeps moving more and more. I just don't want it to hit my camera because that's kind of the way that wind or that breeze is headed. But, you know, basically, I'm satisfied with everything here. Okay, so that one was a little high, but you know, then the, it looks like it's just on the, just above the big black ring. So, if that was an animal, it would be dead. Because of this one, I know the arrows for a cheap crossbow things aren't going to always be perfect. They're going to fly everywhere. But as long as I figure I get them within a kill range, that'll work for me. Make an ethical kill shot. All right, here we go. Okay, that one was a little high. Well, let me bring it down. Some clicks here. And see if that makes any difference. But again, I'm only shooting at 20 yards. There's a lot more recurve crossbows are probably better than this one. Of course, they're more expensive. But like I said, for learning, I, I would say it's better to learn on a cheaper crossbow than trying to get an expensive crossbow and not know what you're doing. Unless, you know, if you're, if you're new to crossbows. Um, because you're going to destroy a lot of stuff before you get that far, like I have. And that one was a bullseye. It was kind of weird watching that one. And you can see it go off this, off to the left, and then come back in. So that's kind of neat to see. I just wish I could afford one of those recording uh, scopes so you could see that. The way they adjust and come back in. Bullseye. So I guess my adjustment did good. But this one is so much easier to cock than the other ones, that's for sure. Oh, 
Okay, my final shot. Let's hope we close it out with a bullseye. That looks pretty doggone close. Maybe just a hair low. So I'm gonna collect some arrows and uh, we'll come back with some final thoughts. Okay, so we're back with final thoughts. And when I went down and looked at all my arrows, pretty much all of them were in a kill range. So that was good. Um, I was impressed with that. Um, like I said, but this again, this is a $200 uh, crossbow. These ones here, these 16 inch arrows, or 362 grain uh, arrows that I got, and they all came in at that. Um, so that was good uh, when I did the weights. You, again, that's on a previous video that we went over. Uh, so again, this crossbow, like I said, this is a cheap crossbow, but it is a good crossbow. Um, you can, like I guess you can learn. And it's also good, you know, I guess I have the uh, uh, Cobra pistol crossbow, which you guys have seen on the other fun days. And, um, and it's like this one. This would be a good entry-level crossbow for even a juvenile to learn how to shoot a crossbow. Now, my kids are still a little bit too young, young in my opinion, maybe another year or two. Uh, they can start learning, you know, the pistol crossbow and learning this one as they get older. Probably my daughter will be first, then my son, then my youngest. But um, it is, like I said, it's a fantastic crossbow to learn with. I highly recommend this crossbow. So, um, yeah. All right, so remember um, 700 subscribers, and we'll do the live show. Please press that subscribe button now. Um, don't forget our men and women in blue. They got a tough job to do out there and they do it each and every day. Um, they go unappreciated. Uh, so give them give them appreciation. Give them a thumbs up. Give them a handshake or whatever. And also our men and women in service. Take care of them. Um, they also have a tough job to do. Uh, and remember, medics save lives but EMTs save the medics and remember family first take care of your family by all means get out there and hunt and see you on the next episode of Utah Crossbow Hunter